Hi everybody, it's Julie, and I have a haul from Amore Fabrics from Selena's shop, and I picked up one of those amazing kits that she put together last week, along with some other things that I needed from the shop, and she was um, doing a, a $10 off, $50 order, and um, <clears throat> so naturally I made sure I did that, and... So, let's just see what we got here. I um, I ordered some more of the pink guest checks. These are the ones that are the thick ones, not the peach colored ones, which are really lightweight, but the the thick, thicker weighted pink guest checks. I just really like to have the choice between the pink and the green, so I picked that up. I um, picked up these little uh, fortune. So I thought they were kind of fun. They're little fortune tickets. And they are vintage. And I thought that they would be fun for a couple things that I have up that are coming up. So um, there's blue and brown and red. Ooh, my, an orange. So anyway, so I picked those up. And then she gifted me this package of dragonflies. So there's four little dragonflies there. Metal pendants. Very cool. <clears throat> and then I also picked up these ledger papers. Woodburn uh, Savings Bank, Woodburn, Iowa. Um, I used to live right by Woodburn, Iowa. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I thought this was kind of cool and would be fun to, to try in my upcoming projects. So this is the kit. I don't know if she's sold out already or not. Um, what did she call it? It was the junk in the trunk kit. She literally just pulled stuff out of her trunk saying, yeah, and this is going to be in there, and this is going to be in there. She had been to an estate sale and a couple other things, and so, yeah, so let's see what we got here. So... This is the small package of papers, and I will put the link to her shop down below. So this is the Pittsburgh Lake Erie Railroad Company um, from the month of December 1910. Oh yeah. Very cool. So, and it's all, it's written in. There are a couple of pages that are empty. Oh boy, this is gonna be amazing. So that is really cool. And then some um, ice coupons. How cool is that? And they're the real coupons. <laughs> oh my gosh. And a couple of, of or a post, postcard an old car on it and a recipe for broccoli cheese casserole and paper and 50, some more tickets and this is the the cards that she said had the names on them or the lady's name from the estate sale but look at their really cool size and style I for iguana and a variety of papers. Ooh, they folded down. Let's see if we can get them flattened out. Some graph paper, a summary of income, some blue papers, and some other grid paper, some music. 
copyright 1908 some yellow stickers I'm gonna put that in with my project I'm doing right now the gourmet recipe collector receipt paper Wow there's so much stuff here a 1040 form <laughs> some more little papers bunch more little papers library cards these are the ones that are um, paper not um, card here's one of my Marge's rainbow pads we have some Monopoly money and another ticket and here we have a pocket daytimer address and phone from 1989 and this you can just take the staples out and then you, you're able to use the full page like the video that I showed earlier oh we got some funny money here 3m games and trivial pursuit family edition a receipt another recipe card chocolate fudge soda oh this is cool it's a it looks like it's a game um, score piece some cards mystery looks like oh I got the E and the G and the buyers card for an auction game it looks like oh a really big pocket that probably has the seal on the back it's like you would put a CD in this but you could I mean for this you can put something else in it a couple of cards a couple of flinch cards Ornithominus mammoth, <laughs> something like that. It's a dinosaur, and some more trivial pursuit cards, a Yahtzee scorecard, a Triomino scorecard, some scrapbook paper, a library card, double jeopardy paper, and a little tag, and some book paper, and a time card. Some little papers and an envelope and this is really cool it's an envelope double envelope I like that it's pretty big though but I like it a mem memorandum for interdepartmental use and a file in little index tab some more little papers some receipt a guest check address and envelope here we have the striped um, striped card and an envelope and the claim check tickets in pink white and blue and a flash card what is this Oh, it's a nether pocket, a see-through pocket. Here's a couple of the little cards from the library. <laughs> Another game scorecard and another Trivial Pursuit and another game scorecard and a multi or <laughs> subtraction card. Plain check, um, writing card paper, another card, tiles, oh, this one is um, religious, Jacob and Esu, Esu, Esau, Esau, cool, it's a card, an Uno card, and the number five. And division flashcards. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Little mouse on the cheese. Ooh, I got some stock from the Game of Life and Game of the States. 
Minnesota. And Professor Plum from Clue. A couple more claim checks. Another dog. Snorta. That, that's from the game Snorta. <laughs> a Disney Trivial Pursuit. Oh, my daughter's really good at that game. <laughs> Edu Cards. There you go. Another Index File card. And this is a postcard. May 7th, 1919. Looks like my my Yaya's um, grandson. Ah, a piece of <clears throat> canvas. If only you were here. I wish you were here today. If just to shake your hand, I'd tell you in the same old way, oh well, you'd understand. And this one is... 1919 also and we have a gigantic edition card that's so cool Ooh, a first day um, issue stamps first day issue of those stamps okay so that was our our small ephemera looks like and now we're moving on to the medium ephemera. Boy, I'm going to wish I had gotten a drink before I came in to do this. Okay, so let's put this aside. So we got one of the little Jane Austen um, address books. It's pretty. And it's got all these... Um, Jane Austen quotes on the things. I do have a couple of Jane Austen things to make some journals out of. We've got the little closure like that. Okay, a whole bunch of Jean, genus um, trivial pursuit cards and Mickey's Christmas Carol golden book and an ABC picture book real cloth 1952 look at this <laughs> very cool I just got a couple of um, alphabet cloth books that are from 19 like 1910 and 1905 I think they are here's a couple more little note pieces from the little ephemera we'll put it in with the little ephemera put these down here so the ideals book I chose Mother's Day because I wanted flowers <laughs> and I figured I would get more flowers in the um, in Mother's Day, Lilacs for Memorial Day, Vintage House, look at that, very cool, mm, lots and lots of purple in this one, some recipes, that's beautiful, Journey, Changeless, <coughs> Old Mothers, Silver Threads and Golden Needles. Collector's Corner. The Charm String. So. A Mother's Gifts. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. That's really cool. Forest. Country Woman's Pleasure for the children. Yeah, so lots of flowers like I was, oh my gosh. 
I love that. And Mayday. And Violets. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I picked that one. And the other book is The Pied Piper of Hamlin, A Fairy Tale. Great images. It's a big book. It's really big. So, there we go. And then we have this one here. the textile part. So there is some peach ribbon, a set of the pens, and you know I use these to um, make charms. And then there's the this ribbon and it is it's actually pretty wide. It's like an inch and a half wide. So there's that. Then there's this piece of a doily. And it's four, um, four little squares, and this piece of lace, and some embroidery floss, and this is the tablecloth. Oh, it doesn't have the dots in the middle. I'm gonna have to fill them in. <laughs> My uh, OCD will have to finish it, maybe. Or just leave it. So, um, very pretty. It's yellow, and that'll go with the journal that I'm working on. Um, the vintage journal that I'm working on for um, memories of my mom. And so here we have a pattern. 50 cents. Oh my gosh. 50 cents. And patterns are now like... 15 20 bucks it's like crazy okay so here we go we got this great big file folder and we have some music here beautiful ways to express yourself 50 and here is the Castle by the Ford book page and the Greg Shorthand Dictionary. Some of those and an algebra book page. Those are cool. Oh, I better put the big ones. Let's all hold them. And some yellow ledger paper. And this one is the notebook of Albert Hubbard. <laughs> and some more. Scrapbook. Oh, I remember her talking about this. And, ooh, this is some cool paper right here. Cool paper. And some birds. The Roadrunner. I just saw a Roadrunner a couple weeks ago. It's only like the third one I've seen where we live. We live in the desert, and but I've only seen three of them. And it was in a Walmart parking lot. I saw it. Unification of Germany and Italy, 1815 to 1871. <coughs> so a map. A funny bunny cake. And a name cake and salad tips and three men in a boat hollow out part of a baked potato so it looks like a boat <laughs> bonsai silver pine bonsai my grandfather did bonsais and I was a little, little girl. And interesting vegetables and herbs. Oh, here's an envelope that has 
a pot on it. Oh, pretty. Look at how pretty that is. So this all, those, those go together. And some more scrapbook paper. And here's some double discount, doubled stamps. And another couple of envelopes with the cute little animals on them. There's, there's a few of them there. Very cute. Another envelope, another scrapbook page. Some coffee dyed paper. It's a big paper. Look at it. Look at that great coffee dyeing. Very cool. And some blue paper with lines. And some lined paper and graph paper on the other side. Cookbook, meats, graduation, paper. Cool. Card. Ooh, pretty iris paper. That could go in there. Pork recipes, lamb, <laughs> minted pineapple. There's a Cambridge ledger with good color to it. Oh, that's cool. And days of the week with strawberries. A Mary Inglebright, it looks like. Yep, Mary Inglebright ink. And then some other note paper. And forget me not, we'll put that in with the flowery thing. Oh, I love these bags. I already have a bag, one of these in that kit. So. Making a swag. Another book page. This one looks like it's from a reader. The Little Rill. Hmm. What's a little rill? If I were a sunbeam. <laughs> if I were a sunbeam. Oh, that's pretty. And here we go. Uh, another reader. Jack and Nell heard one call. They're in Farmville. Read and draw, it says. Red flowers. It's roses. Um, bird pages. That is one ugly bird. <laughs> the Andean condor. He's ugly. <laughs> Put it, you know, I'll save it for Halloween. Oh, that's cool. Sheer water. Graceful, apparently effortless way in which they fly fast and low over the sea. Sheer water. A short fire lad. More book pages. More book pages. Oh my gosh, look at this wrapping paper. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh yeah, very, very pretty. Very pretty. I love that. We'll put that up there so that it gets put with the wallpaper. A graph, a large piece of graph with yellow on the center. <laughs> Bloom Originals. So that's from the, the state sale probably. And so these are all big ones. Which is awesome when you're making a larger journal to have the large 
pieces. Like this one, you can put it in a journal and then do a flip-flop with it. And some pink and blue ledger. Pretty. A lavender ledger. Sign press, sign order. Primary colored stickers. More ledger. More graph. Ledger. Look at all this ledger. Graph. Yellow paper. Ledger. Ledger paper. Ooh, look at this. Look at that writing. Don't know what language it's in. <laughs> Looks like probably German, but I'm not sure. Here is the paper boy. Read and draw. What is the word? So another reader. Another map. Book map, map pages. Okay, so that's a whole bunch of paper. Gosh, there's so much here. This is crazy. Crazy how much is here. Oh, some, some stayed in, so we'll take it out. So these were would have been in the back of the pile. So another one of those giant file folders. More graph paper. The stamp pages for loved one. <laughs> um, some typing papers, invitations to, <laughs> to <laughs> in architecture by Frank Lloyd Wright. Couple of doilies. Put them up there so they can get put in the doily. This is really nice. Has a cross with wedding rings on it. Mm, some old vintage paper right there. Little Tommy Tucker. <laughs> I love the fishing. Music and drama. Choosing a career. So this is from the choosing a career. The year and a season, choosing a career. So more book pages. More, um, this is computer paper, like ledger paper-ish kind of stuff. This envelope. interesting. Oh, it's um, Jonathan. To Jonathan, a confession. So I'm not really sure. It's like out of, maybe out of a book. It's out of a book of some sort. Then we have this, an old newspaper. And an order form, some architecture out of a book, people and places. This is from the Arizona Highways. Mm, that's pretty. Oh, and pumpkins. 1952 Arizona Highways. But that could be a Could be a journal, just all by by itself. Could be a cover. Some more heat treatment of steel, the stitching. Here's creative drafting pages, um, gardening pages, stitchery pattern, needlework. A calendar page.
another one of the oh this is um recipe card owls and ducks owls and ducks more birds a morning prayer cost of things so this is a bunch of sayings or quotes more stamp pages Tasmania Tahiti Switzerland Kanu Tavo <laughs> excuse me <laughs> surprised I hadn't sneezed before going through the old paper receipts music paper music paper music paper note paper oh look at that little dog oh and he's there too I have a, a place that I'm saving the vintage Christmas cards Oh, look at these are index cards that have been cut out. That one will match my what I'm working on. Put this with the little papers. We have this giant picture. That's cool. Vincent Van Gogh. Madame Cezanne in a red armchair, about 1877. That's cool. Okay, here we have bulb, bulbs large, bulbs medium. Dahlias, look at those. Look at those, like they could almost, they could just be cut and be stamps. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like the... That's cool. Very cool. So here is... Is this more Van Gogh? Country dance. I like that. I do have some large books that could use some something. And ooh, these are cool. Old era woman. No, four card dressed as an Algerian. Okay. And we're, then we're down to um, the papers that I had put under. So that is the junk in the trunk kit that I received from Amore Fabrics from Selena. Thank you, Selena. It's awesome. There's so much here. Um, I'm going to have to go and kind of organize it and so that I can use it or pass some of it on. So, what was your favorite, favorite, favorite? My favorite was that train receipt book. Yeah, that was my very favorite. Very favorite thing in this whole thing. I, I like that very much. Very much. So, thank you, Selena. Thank you for putting this together. I'm also excited to get the things I ordered um, along with it. So, did you get one of these kits? And... What do you think? Find something to celebrate every day. Don't forget to subscribe. Have an amazing day. Talk to you soon. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.